I mean, very, very important um, points you made about collaboration. And the question coming to mind is, have we seen this type of regulatory collaboration in Nigeria before? Well, um, where we have a, a, um, a, a regulator at the national level collaborating with a regulator at the state level. Do we? Have I would give you a good example that happened just two, three weeks ago. LRS and FRS are collaborating on collection of taxes okay. or are looking to collaborate on collection of taxes. I think they signed an MOU about three, four weeks ago. Okay. So that shows that there can be collaboration. Okay. Um, I've also seen, uh, and this is, I mean, the example of uh, the tax, uh, I mean, the revenue uh, agencies collaborating actually is a good example or a good precedent mm -hmm. because it shows that there can be collaboration both at the federal and, the and at the level. state level, right? I've also seen uh, interagency collaboration on various issues. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, uh, collaboration has been seen by... Um, actors, I mean by 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 Regulation. regulators. So I don't think it will be difficult uh, for them for to, to happen. I, I, and I think again, maybe uh, the national regulator also has a huge role to play because they've been here for a very yeah, long time. It's so it's exactly, I mean, and it's what I would expect is for them to play the role of the big brother to be able to uh, let the state regulatory commission. Um, perform very well, although I guess uh, there's also the bit of the fact that uh, perhaps there may be seemingly uh, reduction in their powers. Yeah. But I don't. I, I naturally don't think so. And I'm looking at this perhaps maybe from these legal arguments of doctrine of covering the field and things like that. Okay. Um, I mean, these are legal arguments that perhaps maybe in the few in the next few months we would see how, how they play out. The doctrine of covering the field, um, essentially it's a constitutional doctrine to say that if there's a federal law that covers an issue, like what we're looking at now, such as electricity, um, and there is a state law on the same issue, the doctrine of covering the field is such that um, when there's an inconsistency between federal and state law, right, uh, the State, I mean, the federal law would uh, supersede. supersede. Now, the issue would be that laws which the states would be empowered or are empowered under the constitutions, I mean, constitution to make mm. need to align with the Electricity Sector Power Reform gotcha. Act. Now, the issue, and there's been arguments to say that uh, in the real sense, uh, um, the second schedule of uh, the constitution does not include the powers of the state, I mean the federal government, to actually make laws, mm -hmm. or does not make it exclusive for the federal government to make laws on uh, distribution. So the argument is that the states actually have the powers to make distributions, I mean laws, laws on distribution, of distribution of power okay. to the exclusion of um, the federal federal government. Okay. I mean, without going into the technicality of all that, for me, I think what is important, okay. right, is that um, there is a powers that has been vested by the constitution in okay. states to now make laws on generation, Distrib transmission, and distribution, and of distribution of power, uh, uh, and the states have that power. So yeah. what we now need would be alignment, okay. right? Alignment at the federal and national level. I mean, federal and the state level. And how this can be done would be putting the regulators into a room, right, to also get their pulse as to what they are thinking of, okay. as to what they intend to do in terms of collaboration. Okay. Will there be joint regulations? Will there be um, perhaps what I would call com joint communiques uh, issued by by them mm. to provide clarity to investors. Okay. And I think um, if we use the learning of the tax system that we have as of today, we have the joint tax board, Yes. right? 
we have the Federal Inland Revenue Service. We have the states Inland Revenue Services. Okay. Right? And there is always alignment at the Joint Tax Board level. Okay. Should we be looking at things like that? Should we be looking at a joint regulatory commission? These are conversations that need to be had. And if we are going to have a joint regulatory commission, what would happen? Do we need a law to be able like to that. have this? Should they be done by amendment of the uh, Electricity Sector Power Reform Act, or mm -hmm. should it be a constitutional amendment? Okay. My view is that if we really want to do this, it should be uh, an amendment of the Electricity Sector, I mean, Power Sector Reform Act. Mm -hmm. I think that would be faster okay. than a constitutional amendment that needs to yeah. go through all the states and all that. Yeah. So um, those are the considerations, and I think um, the earlier reg the regulators and also investors and need to come together to sit down and talk about some of these things. Perhaps we'll be able to get further clarity. Uh, because, again, I don't think we should also put a lot of um, concentration on the investors, I mean, on, on, on the regulators. Okay. Because the investors, the way investors see issues are always different from where how yes. regulators <laughs> see issues. And it would be good to get their take, okay. right, before some of these new laws coming both at the state level and perhaps maybe regulations from maybe uh, the, the NEC or even other electricity regulatory commissions. Okay.